Hey you guys, welcome. I am Rena Wells. I'm here to do your weekly Twin Flame Soulmate uh, Connections reading, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to get started right away. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're returning, you know, it's a special place in my heart for you guys. All right, so we're going to jump right in, you guys. I'm going to be using several different decks, whatever I intuitively get pulled. But the clarifying deck that I will most likely use is my own creation. Not for sale yet. It's called Cosmic Tarot, but they're here. Um, this is going to be a timeless reading, but from when you look at it, uh, this is for the first week of February. So let's take a look. We are going to jump right in with Tarot. I want to take a look at what's going on with masculine energy. I want to see what is going on with the masculine energy uh, right now, where masculine is right now connected in regards to karmic energies on the left and divine feminine um, on the right. So we're going to look at divine masculine energies first. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what is going on with divine masculine energies, where they are pertaining to karmic energies this week and to towards towards divine feminine. Sorry, my cloth. I haven't fixed it totally straight. All right, guys. Let's see what is going on. What is going on with divine masculine energy towards karmic and towards divine feminine? Let's take a look. We're going to take a look at the. Overall, where are they sitting right now towards karmic energy? We have letting their guard down. Where masculine is sitting towards divine feminine, we have un an unstable energy, okay? Masculine is working really hard and trying to stay focused on self, okay? Let's take a look. What is going on with divine masculine in the mind towards karmic energies right now? Thank you. Death in reverse. There's a delay and an ending. Well, isn't that the story of the year? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, gee, tell us more, Spirit. What's going on with Divine Feminines? Masculine towards Divine Feminines. Not giving to the situation. All right? So, yeah. So remember, this is Karmic. This is Divine Feminine. What's going on with Masculine in the heart space towards Karmic energies? Juggling, right? obviously yeah it's death in reverse and juggling Let's move that over there thank you and what is going on in the heart space towards divine feminine two of cups what is going on with intentions towards karmic energies coming out of hermit mode okay let's do it this way just get more camera what's going on intentions towards divine feminine not really manifesting anything um kind of see that as manipulative energies um let me just make sure that you guys can see that yeah that's still good all right and what is going on with outcome towards karmic energies what is the outcome well karmic is not happy we have the queen of wands in reverse and what is going on with Divine Masculine towards Divine Feminine outcome? Yeah, we've got Union, we've got Four of Wands. All right, let's use this Kipper deck. Let's get a little bit more detail, guys. What is going on with the Divine Masculine right now? Let's take a look towards Karmic Energies and towards Divine Feminine Energies. Why is this death? Why is there a delay? So this masculine right now, what I'm seeing is this masculine is like delaying um, and ending with karmic energies. Uh, they're juggling, they're back and forth, they're trying to debate, they may be, um, he's, they're trying, he's try masculine energy is trying to come out of a hermit place, but, um, and is really not paying attention to um, karmic energies trying to you know, use seduction or any of that kind of thing, but this is just um, their outcome is that they're upsetting karmic energies. They're not giving because of this delay, right? But they're feeling a, a relationship and wanting a union and building a solid foundation and wanting coming close to the finish line, um, but their intentions aren't quite pure towards divine feminine. So I feel as masculine is really trying to escape. Let's just take a look. What is going on with divine masculine in the in heart space towards karmic energies? Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Nostalgic about the past towards karmic and towards divine feminine. 
page of one wanting to get on the spiritual path so sad about the past and wanting to get on the path <laughs> well ain't that just nice well can't have your cake and eat it too you know you can't ascend with your karma not so intact you got to do the work right so let's take a look here what is going on why is there a delay here oh not ready for that spirit let's see masculine energies towards karmic and towards divine feminine felt like doing a spread this way a little different today you guys let's see towards the six of cups here this is divine masculine oops Poverty consciousness with a message. Okay, we'll take it. Spirit brought it out, so let's take it. Uh, with the karmic energy, he's really talking about this lack mentality, the poverty being, um, you know, it's not good for them. And towards divine feminine, they want to get onto the spiritual path. So divine masculines are looking at their future. They feel this path was stolen from them. I was going to say that I felt like they're feeling that this was stolen. The past is stolen and left them in a place of poverty. For some, that could be it, that this karmic energy has taken all their money. Um, but there's messages going back and forth about this lack of mentality and nostalgic about the past and what's happened in the past. But also, Divine Masculine is feeling that they were stolen. Their spiritual path was stolen from them. Own up, Divine Masculines. <laughs> it was not stolen. You had, a part, you had ownership in that, right? You can't evolve until you take responsibility. Let's see. Why is there a delay here for Masculines to ending it with karmic? Why is there a delay? procrastination really look it's a love relationship right they're delaying this so this is why they're not giving to divine feminine over here in their mind why aren't they giving because of this delay that they're not ending something right so <laughs> they're not giving because they're married right some of them are married so this is exactly a reflection here they're juggling and debating with this karmic energy in the heart space yeah they feel trapped Right? So, of course, they're debating it, but they want a relationship with Divine Feminine. Like, this is what I'm saying. Can't have your cake and eat it, too. Come on. Come on. We need some men that can grow up here. I know there are Divine Masculines out there. <laughs> okay? I know there are that aren't actually childish like this. Let's move on, guys. Come on. In the future, they're looking at, like, okay, I want a relationship. Uh, and and I made, when I made this card, it's a highly respectful card. I bow to you. I bow. We honor each other. This is, you know, in the near future, this is what they are desiring with Divine Feminine. Well, you better hurry up. Some of us Divine Feminines are getting scooped up, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, real men notice Divine Feminine energy, don't they? Don't they? Yeah, they do. Let's, let's take a look here. What is going on with the Hermit? They're coming out of Hermit mode with this Karmic energy. Yeah, that they want to go on a journey. They want to go on this path, on the spiritual path that they feel was stolen from them. But why are they manipulating divine feminine energy? Yeah, see, they feel that they can't come and be bear the truth because they hold such a high honor. They put divine feminine on this, like, high balance, like, high honor, like, pedestal. And that's just, you know, that's also not very healthy either because you got to look at their human stuff too, right? Why is uh, karmic energy is upset here right now with divine masculine? Whoa, that's a lot. We'll take a look at it, but that's a lot. We'll put it back and see what, what comes out, but we'll see. They're waiting. See, their psychological something's bad with their health psychologically or mentally or physically. There's some bad health. They're waiting. Uh, they're working really hard on their health. They're thinking of divine feminine, and they're getting really close about what they want in their family, but they're waiting. What is this karmic energy? Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> because they want a mature woman. All right. When I see mature woman, I usually think of divine feminine because she is a mature, wise woman. I'm sorry. Uh, she's done the work. You know, what is this four of wands here with the outcome? With this four of coming, uh, want a union and coming to, yeah, they want to change for this union. So this is what I'm seeing. Let's see what they're they're debating about. Because what I'm really getting here is these masculines, you know, they're in a poverty place of poverty consciousness. They're messaging the karmic and nostalgic about the past that this isn't this is lackful. This is not what I want. I feel like you stole. Like they're unstable. Okay, as I'm clarifying, which is the card that came up before unstable because of this path was stolen. Why do they feel that this path was stolen from them? This is the masculine that's not owning up. Yeah, saying this is a burden and a 
responsibility frustration this is good they're coming at the end of this they may have to actually like own up for this so let's see what is the delay in ending this with the karmic energy spirit they're hung what are they hung about we know they're not moving what are they hung about they're depressed they're sad this is okay it's placating it's okay why is it just okay they think it's okay they're trying to end their pain they're apologizing for something but they can't give it to the divine feminine see they're unhappy it's not their ten of cups it's just the nine of cups over here see they're, they're they have this cup they have to love see this this cup here this cup is over here that they're giving to this this karmic energy and this is the cup they're sad because they only got the nine of cups over here well nine plus one is ten we'll bring your cup over give this cup over here like why is this happening so there's some type of imprisonment and type of placating see this is not fate the fate is not turning the wheel is not turning on this they will remain in prison in codependency nine of pentacles for quite some time they're coming out of a place of apathy here but i'm not sure let's see what they're saying there they want to come out of this hermit mode and journey towards uh something brand new look at this nine of cups in reverse so they're not even happy with this nine of cups it's overindulgent it's stuck it's stuck energy they they want to come towards this mature woman but they're not being honest with the karmic energy see this is why I was seeing the manipulative energy. Why are they being manipulated to Divine Feminine? Because of the high honor. See, they're going to come towards Divine Feminine. Listen, some of you may get a message. I, baby, I want you back. I'm ending this conflict. I want a commitment with you. And they may still be over here trying to manipulate the situation. This person is unstable. This person is not being honest. So let's get deeper with Divine Mouth. So let's see what is really going on with, with them. This Divine Masculine I'm picking up is trying to be a little shady shit. I'm going to be honest. This person is trying to be like, oh, you know, let's see. I don't want to end this situation. Maybe I should head towards Divine Feminine first and see what is up with that. Well, I don't know, you guys. Is that really what you want? You know, you need a masculine that is going to do the work. You know what I mean? No half-assing. No half-assing. When we're on this path, there's no half-assing. I'm telling you, I have met soulmates and people that are doing the work <laughs> if your twin is not doing the work get the hell out of there <laughs> not necessarily only you guys know what's right for you but in all honesty um this is about growth and and evolution and if somebody doesn't want to evolve you can't force them they want to stay where they're they want to stay with their nice looking karmic and let them suck their money and let them be mean to their children and unawakened that's their that's their <laughs> That's their issue. Let's take a look. Let's dive deeper into Divine Masculine. What is going on with Divine Masculine energies? Let's take a look at this as well. All right, let's take a look. What is actually going on with Divine Masculine energies right now? Where is the Divine Masculine right now? And we'll see what's uh, going on with Divine Feminine at the same time. We'll see what's... Um, I'm sure we'll see the divine what's going on feminine towards the masculine as well and towards their karma just for any masculines that are watching so let's take a look further into divine masculine right now what's going on with divine masculine right now for the collective spirit whoa well we got, we've got quite a bit that came out we have out to sea okay they're trying to leave a situation and, and abandon something behind they're trying to build their life up so they're in between stages right now. They have a deep knowing of what is going on. They're trying to leave something behind. So they are stagnant with karmic energies right now, but I'm not seeing that they're fully given the, yeah, I'm out of there. It's more like, I'll give you the silent treatment and ignore you because we got into a fight and not talk to you for like a week. Like that's the energy I'm seeing. And that's, that's still bullshit energy. You can't you can't communicate with somebody like that. Um, this is a masculine who is conflict avoidant for sure. Completely conflict avoidant. Kind of like waits waits it out until the other person ends it. That's what I'm seeing. This is not somebody who's actually doing it themselves. You know, this is somebody who's afraid of confrontation and who is willing to just ignore somebody and let it end that way that's very immature energy very immature energy this masculine i'm sorry guys i don't know who i'm picking up on um but this energy is um 
Like, I feel like this masculine is just like, hey, I'm just going to get on my boat and just take off and just go wherever the hell I want and just orphan and leave whatever behind so I can build a new life. That's kind of what I'm seeing. What is this out to see, spirit? I'm waiting for the right time to be transparent. Okay, this is where masculine is right now. Orphaned? What is this orphaned energy? Wow, a lot. Uh, abundance. It's worth it. Third party knows about you, so no, not right now. <laughs> but let's take, we just need one. What is this orphaned here? What's divine masculine with orphaned? I am working on my inner issues. What is going on with building blocks? Divine masculine. Too many here, too many here, too many. Too many spirit. Somebody is spying though. Building blocks. They're trying to build something. They may be, you know, um, in and out. They may not be fully committed to this person. They may have moved out recently or they're trying to build something up again on their own. But they may still be working with this person, their karmic energy. They may still be married. They may not have fully finalized anything. But there's definitely still somebody around. They're trying to build up. See, they're running away from something because they've gained a new perspective, a different perspective on something. So they've run away. So this person may just be running from somebody and he is so codependent and needs somebody else. Just be aware of divine feminines. If you're going to be getting messages from somebody who's coming back, be very wary of this individual. Okay. On the bottom, we have life partners. So this person does m might see you as a life partner, but let's see deep knowing I'm not ready for what you have to offer. So this person, this person is conflicted. Let me tell you, really conflicted. Let's do the Island Wellness cards and take a look. Can I have one for each four cards, please, Spirit? What is going on with the Divine Masculine? Where are they right now? This week, Divine Masculine. I feel like there's a lot of turmoil that's happening and this person is trying to figure it out. But they're doing it with some very avoidant behavior and they're not doing it by just taking the bull by the damn horns and facing the issues and just saying no here are the facts i want this and i don't want that and i'm done with this and i'm leaving you and this is how it's going down and that's that like sometimes you need to put your 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 cards on the table and then <laughs> you know there and show your hand so let's see what's going with masculine without to see what is orphaned? Thank you. What is, thank you, building blocks and deep knowing I'm not ready. Deep knowing I'm not ready. Cassette. Playing over the past. Outdated thinking. That's what I was saying. This is outdated thinking. So they're not ready to do anything right now. They're trying to build with unconditional love. They've gained a different perspective, but they're also running away from things. They've gained um, a different perspective to the next phase. Their relationship is evolving. They're working on their inner issues. So they've orphaned something and abandoned something. And so something is evolving for them. This is the chaser. So they're running away from somebody chasing them. And that's probably the karmic energy, codependent running. They're trying to get away. I'm waiting for, waiting for the right time to be transparent. This person is running away here, right? See, we got the chaser. Someone's chasing. Someone's running away. All right, so... Take it as it resonates, could be karmic energies. If you're separated from this person and you're not chasing and you're just doing your own thing, then it's probably karmic energies chasing this person. If it's you, well, this person is running very fast. I'm sorry, I had to, my kids and I do these, our Indian accents and stuff like that. And we, I was just joking around with them. So that's where that came out. I'm sorry, guys. Listen, I'm Indian, okay? So I can do that. It's like he's running, right? He's chasing, running. What are you going to do? Um, yeah, let's take a look. What is going on with the Divine Masculine here right now? We're going to take a look. What is going on with Divine Masculine? They're really um, not... They're trying to get away from codependency. I feel that they're still trying to debate and work things out in their older life. So things have not cleared up. And they're not ready for their future either. So this person is still not fully out of the woods yet okay we have seven of pentacles in reverse king of swords in reverse three of pentacles and the six of swords okay clarifying seven of pentacles reverse ten of swords look at that betrayal they've betrayed somebody so they're not investing in something anymore and they're getting out in their boat and they're leaving somebody is still chasing this person 
So this person, this masculine is waiting to for the right time to be transparent with whoever the viewer is and somebody is chasing them and they're just running away. If it's if it's not a karmic situation, you the viewer are chasing them, okay? Um they're not going to invest in something and that's where the betrayal comes in. They're being very blocked here um with communicating um they're orphaned. I feel they're very much on their own right now. They could have abandonment issues, which is another reason maybe why they haven't fully left the situation. Okay, but they're trying to let their guard down to work on their issues um, in their heart. And this is their heart space. They're trying to come together and to collaborate <laughs> to build something new. They're trying to build a new structure. They're trying to build either a new foundation, build a new home. They may have moved out. They've gained a new perspective. They're trying to do things from the intention of unconditional, but they haven't fulfilled their wishes yet for this and their new place isn't ready and they're not quite fully healed this person is trying to move on look from ending a relationship so what i'm getting is they may have ended things with a karmic energy but there's not out of the woods like th that's why they can't quite come forward they're not being fully honest something is still up something is still holding them back it's not fully an authentic connection yet for uh within themselves to even come back to feminine energy okay let's see who is this chaser and what is this masculine running the hell away from yeah see they're blocked this this nice hot masculine that i created isn't he hot Whew. um <laughs> yeah i made the men really extra sexy in this deck um anyways this masculine is not um yeah, I wasn't showing off the feminine form. I was showing off the masculine form. <laughs> so this masculine is completely blocking whatever's happening, not investing, and waiting for this, I feel, to die down before they can come forward. This masculine is in between stages, okay? They can't come forward yet because, and that's why if they come forward, we saw the manipulation, they wouldn't be fully honest, okay? So just be careful with what's happening here. They're still trying to let their guard down, but they're still dealing. Yeah, see, they can't rush forward right now. The chariot with it. They're still getting out of, you know, some type of heartbreak situation. Um, they're trying to build. They're not done healing yet. Yeah, see, they're still in separation because things are still stuck. They're not moving. They're still healing, right? So it's not completely done. They've moved on. They have ended, whoops, a relationship they have ended a relationship they have they are closing off the past so that's a really good thing but they're not out of the woods yet not out of the woods yet so let's take a look at feminine energies now towards karmic we'll do it for the feminine and then we'll do a read on the feminine that is divine and masculine then we're going to take a look and see what is the connection between the two but let's take a look right now and see what is going on with the divine feminine towards karmic energies because i know there are divine feminines out there with karma as well so let's take a look what is going on with the divine feminine please spirit now the karma could also be who's attached to your twin or it could be people in the same tribe i know with my situation there was a shitload of karma <laughs> a whole bunch of karma but i ain't dealing with any of them anymore they can all go live in their little 3D incestuous power struggles. I ain't dealing with that. Um, but let's see what is going on with Divine Feminine towards the karmic energies. What is going on with Divine Feminine towards karmic energies and towards Divine Masculine? What is going on with Divine Feminine? Let's see the bottom of the deck. Oh, there's Divine Feminine. We took those out for masculine towards karma. She's standing ground, being in her divine feminine towards any karma. And towards the masculine, she's starting her new path. She's starting a path of pure passion and fire. What is divine feminine in the mind space towards karmic energies? The hanged one in reverse. The hanged one in reverse is really about... Um, Missed opportunities, coming out of a stagnant place and moving on. What is Divine Feminine towards the Divine Masculine in the mind space? Oops, we'll just take one that flip. She's like, I know you're my Ten of Cups. What is Heart Space towards Karmic Energies? She's So this, this Divine Feminine may have somebody else. They're not waiting. 
this divine feminine may have somebody else and ready to offer some kind of love to somebody else what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine in the heart space her guard is down so this divine feminine is like whoever wants to come can come i know you're my ten of cups and i have my guard down what is divine feminine and towards karmic action okay so karmic energy she is with a masculine who is ready to rise into a divine masculine emperor stance so this feminine is definitely i'm feeling some of you if you don't have anybody you're definitely open to somebody okay or you're open to you know your mission or you're you're open to taking control of your life you're open to leaving a brand you're open to a brand new beginning with masculine energy or with not intention towards divine masculine divine feminine do you see how much calmer this is wow mirroring the masculine right now manipulated so this feminine is aware of the manipulation energy with divine masculine see how it's in the exact same placement as the divine masculine was right towards divine feminine knowing that it's not going to be an honest action towards her divine feminine is completely aware that it's not going to be an honest action i love that synchronicity thank you spirit let's take a look at uh, outcome towards the karmic energies the karmic energies are anybody else uh that's just not your twin so could be any other person outside the person that you're thinking or soulmate whatever you whatever this is for you um this is uh having your guard up and working willing to do the work with this with this energy over here okay with karmic energies or another soulmate so this this divine feminine is like if it's not another person it's like i'm ready to put the work in i'm ready to defend i'm ready to offer my love i'm being open and i'm ready to receive whatever's coming into my path and divine masculine i know you're being manipulative and i know things aren't moving and i got my guard down if you want to come back i know you're the happiness but that's just where it is right now wow 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 let's take a look at divine feminine oh yeah let's pull one how's divine feminine towards the karmic energy how is divine feminine feeling towards karmic energies right now ending any type of frustration okay and um just done with that tired energy and towards divine masculine what is divine feminine feeling towards divine masculine <laughs> blocked we're not talking um king of swords in reverse i know masculine's not in a good headspace so not even dealing with that let's take a look here what is going on with divine feminine towards uh karmic energies and towards divine masculine let's take a look so divine feminine is really done with any type of frustrations tiredness stagnancy um not dealing with any of that even with any kind of new situations that may be coming up really cleaning up her life not dealing with anybody that's blocking her as well and excuse me in regards to masculine and uh, masculine divine masculine energies let's take a look what is going on with divine feminine here spirit let's cut bottom of the deck courtship i feel as divine feminine may be getting into something a new path look at this okay she's changing something that honors her hobbies okay hobbies change a new path so this divine feminine is open to a new way open to new people open to new life letting go of responsibility uh, not responsibility of frustrations what is divine feminine letting go of frustrations with any kind of karmic situation i feel this is frustrations from the past and because she's letting go she's being gifted something from the universe spirit is coming through and giving her something uh not dealing with a masculine that is in a narcissistic or blocked energy yeah the lovers even came up in reverse i almost feel like that she knows like i'm not dealing with this this love is it's it's not it's abusive or it's not even abusive it's narcissistic or it's 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 not something tangible she knows this okay this is divine feminine towards uh let's get uh in the mind space towards the karmic energies clarify the hanged one thank you let's just do okay can you go toward uh we have waiting okay we have this waiting uh mind space towards divine mask i'm just gonna pull the cards guys i just feel like i need to pull the cards so just give me a minute towards masculine in the mind please divine feminine towards masculine in the mind divine feminine towards masculine in the mind knowing that he's the main man and happiness feelings towards karmic energies divine feminine looking at maybe a house okay 
um, maybe looking at um, health, working on her health and home and where to offer love towards divine masculine heart space, letting guard down, working hard. Okay, so this, this divine feminine is working hard at keeping her guard down, you know. Um, what is going on towards this karmic with the emperor in reverse, divine feminine towards the karmic thief. Well, that's fascinating because that came up for divine masculine feeling that he may have been stolen. It could be seduced by a third party, but this is her towards third party energy. So this could be your masculine that you're looking at the, with the karmic energies and feeling like you're waiting, but you're done waiting. You're looking at your work, uh, your home, your health, deciding to do that because this masculine was completely stolen. His soul may have been stolen by some dark energies or something, who knows? And, and um, not really dealing with, the, with anything in regards to... Um, this masculine right now okay with the karmic energies if this is somebody that you are opening up and you're just realizing a new path you could believe that um you know this energy um with this person might be on the rise of coming into a masculine energy or may feel that something was stolen their energy was stolen from them or something in regards to that and you're helping this person that's another situation that I'm getting. Let's see Divine Feminine towards Divine Masculine with that manipulation. Well, yeah, of course it falls on the ground. Yeah, Mature Woman. So this is Divine Feminine going on a new pathway. I feel like this is Divine Feminine gaining a lot of wisdom about the path and not going to be manipulated off her path. And what is this towards Karmic Energies? Seven of Wands. Yeah. Knowing that there may be a lawsuit. So Divine Feminine, and sorry, towards Masculine, not moving. Okay, high, that high honor card. See, she doesn't want to be put on a pedestal. Divine Feminine does not want, when, you're, when you put people on a pedestal, like, oh, this person is so much more advanced than me, or this person is so magical, or this person is so blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, when you start doing that, you all automatically say that you're not good enough, that they're out of your league. And as soon as you do that, as soon as you do that with your twin flame, you immediately come into a place of poverty consciousness. If this person is your twin, you are the same. They're, you are the same soul. You just have different gifts and you have to come together in order to realize what that is together. Um, what I'm seeing here in Divine Feminine is not putting up with any crap, not putting up with narcissistic energy, not putting up with manipulation. She's going on a new path. Knowing this masculine is her Ten of Cups, it is her person. She's keeping her guard down. She's working really hard not to have that defensive heart so that it is a safe place. If masculine ever decides to come back as a friend, right? You just don't give up everything just like that, right, Divine Feminines? Because you know that this masculine has you on some type of like high pedestal and you can fall very easily from that. We are still human, right? But what I'm seeing here, Divine Feminine, towards any karmic energies is like, I'm not waiting around anymore. This masculine has been either stolen by the Dark Knight and <laughs> I'm being open to new people. I'm taking my cup. I'm offering. I could be dating. You could be dealing with somebody who's on the rise of a Divine Masculine. You could already be offering your cup and home to somebody in some instances, right? And you know that um, you're going to stand your ground because whatever decisions are being made here... You're making, you know, very honest decisions and working hard for what you want in your life. And it's also, you know, that something in court could be holding up this masculine. This masculine could be in a very messy situation around finances and you're not sticking around for that, right? So that's kind of what I'm seeing here with um, Divine Feminine towards karmic energies and towards the masculine. So let's see this thief with the emperor. I'm really fascinated by this thief because that came up too. Almost some people out there may be feeling like this masculine was stolen and, and some of them could be siphoned. Trust me, I see the medicine community. I've seen people being completely siphoned by bufo and other and um, kind of plant medicines. And bufo is a, a frog medicine, but I've seen it. I've seen people change characteristics and personality thinking they've had an awakening. They've actually just been siphoned, okay? Look at this. This masculine energy here, the feminine is here and feeling that the masculine cannot feel the feminine energy because something was stolen. Um, it could be for that or it could also be if divine feminines are entering into something new keeping you know this is um, 
they feel something that may have been stolen in there and is upsetting them and they're putting their effort into somebody that's on the rise of a divine masculine energy or okay that's for some knowing that this feeling and um what is blocking the masculine from feeling this feminine whatever is being manipulated here okay um yeah let's take a look at this lovers here towards divine masculine knowing that there's like a narcissistic energy yeah four of cups missing out on look at this on stability on something grounding nothing is happening here knowing that this manipulative energy she's taking off whatever's happened in this situation divine feminine yeah putting a halt to it going on her own way she's saying goodbye this feminine is saying goodbye to the past putting a halt it's too imbalanced and committing to self okay could be a new commitment could be somebody new but it's too imbalanced so she's not going there she's just keeping that space open here for divine masculine yeah see he's not actioning anything king of wands in reverse so that's what i'm seeing here for divine feminine let's take a look at what it that's towards karmic energies and towards the mass and let's see what's going on with just the feminine as it is okay guys yeah i feel it's a lot of transitionary energies that are happening this week so whatever this looks like this week um it's definitely uh <laughs> something that masculine is trying to work out here um something's holding the masculine back though something's holding the masculine back um well let's take a look at divine feminine first all right let's see what's going on with divine feminine and then we'll see what's actually playing out between masculine and feminine right now okay let's see what is going on with divine feminine energies right now spirit what is going on with divine feminine energies please spirit for the collective what is going on with divine feminine energies for the collective what is going on with divine feminine energies thank you spirit for the collective let's take a look what is going on with divine feminine energies with the collective i feel like i want to look at the bottom fate has come in okay divine feminine fate is working in your favor right now in your community there's a change in the wind the spirit is asking you to come to the edge i'm gonna take these from the bottom I feel they're very prominent here okay so this is what i was feeling for divine feminines new paths are opening up fate has taken over you don't need to worry there's new pathways opening up there's a change in the community spirit is asking you to come to the edge don't be afraid. Let's see if there's any other messages. I felt that. We're going to take these ones too. Right now, it's not for you. Whatever is going on, Divine Feminine, with your masculine, not for you. There's a lot of truth being told and a lot of regeneration that's happening for you. So, Divine Feminines, you are completely aware of what is really going on. Let's take a look here. These are the actually i wanted to do the ones in separation so let's do this we're gonna put these off to the side here because these are just little extra ones that we got okay and we're gonna do the divine counterparts in separation let me just make sure you guys can see that oh yeah perfect you can see that okay that's awesome awesome all right so let's take a look because there's a regeneration that's happening that's not for you right now there's a lot of truths that are being told there's a lot of shift that's what i was feeling there's a lot of transitionary energies happening in the energies right now so let's take a look what is going on with divine feminine energies right now <laughs> I feel this is masculine saying this. I'm breaking free. I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea, but I pulled up this damn monster that only looked, it only looked good on paper, didn't it? <laughs> That's my new saying. Just looks good on paper, doesn't it? Just like those magazine models. They look so nice, don't they? <laughs> Try having a relationship with one. I'm sorry. And I don't mean anything. I know lots of, I actually know a model who's a, who's a dear client of mine. I love her to death she's beautiful inside and out so i'm not I'm not putting that out there but you know i'm just talking of the the matrix surface stuff you 
know what I mean? All right, let's take a look here at the fates. Clarify divine feminines with the fate. What is going for divine feminine in regard to fate, spirit? Fate coming in. God coming in. Okay? For union. Wow. Look at this. Fate has got your union. Taking things through the dark night of the soul. Have faith. Okay? God has this right now. Bringing it into union. Right now, it's not for you. There's a regeneration happening. Truths are being coming to the surface. Okay? There's a community that is happening right now. Okay? You may be feeling dead inside Divine Feminine, but what's happening is... Um, your real tribe is coming forward right now you may feel like nothing is happening but that's because your true your true tribe is coming this dead inside this is actually your real community coming forward there's a change in the wind that's happening right now <laughs> because somebody is running the hell away you may be running away you're like i'm i'm taking this on new opportunities new chances are coming okay could also be that you're taking a chance in the wind and now your masculine is like i'm running the hell out of there Whatever is happening, there is a running energy. Clarify one more, please, for the running energy. That's way too much, but death to the old, yes, the spy. I feel this is like masculine energy snooping. Masculine wants to come through the divine femininity, but I don't want it right now. Clarify the runaway, please. Running is the running away. Give me one more spirit. I know that's probably masculine energy. I don't feel that is feminine. God, give me so much. Yeah, it's too much. One card, please, spirit, for running away. Thank you. They're running away from a marriage promise. Okay, so commitment. Okay, so there's a change in the wind. Divine feminine changes, something's happening. Spirit is prepping you. Okay, um, wanting you to come to the edge, divine feminine, in your path, and whatever that is, to take a leap of faith. That could be on a brand new path. Oh my God, why am I getting so much here? We have, I'm with them, thinking about this masculine really is trying to get in with the divine feminine. I'm telling you, you guys. The, if you've been feeling your masculine divine feminine, this, this person is all up in your energy. All up in your energy. Let me tell you. Can I have one for divine feminine, please? No more breaking free and running away. <laughs> I have one. What is this coming to the edge for divine feminine, please? Please. What is this coming to the edge for divine feminine? Wow. What did I say? I'm feeling the masculine so in thrall. This masculine wants you to come to the edge. Divine feminine. All right, here's the dealio. Let me tell you, you are heading a new path. You're regenerating yourself. You know this isn't for you. You're allowing fate to move you where it needs to move. There's a change. This masculine is feeling that. God has it. You have surrendered this to God who is bringing in union out of a dark night. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Masculine is showing us up in divine feminine energy. This masculine feels that you're pulling away. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, completely feels um, that they're running away from a previous promise. And as much as I'm shuffling here, you saw it's masculine energy coming through in these cards. Masculine wanting to make it known. I'm here. Okay. Feminines have a little bit of a guard up. I'm not going to lie. You're going to be like, yeah, you're here. But um, you know, what happened the last five years? Dude, seriously. <laughs> like, um, uh, yeah, these divine feminines are strong. This is as in saying that the strength here, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance is divine feminine right now. You ain't gonna take back no manipulation crap. You know that. You know, you know. So let's take a look. What is going on with divine feminine right now? What is going on with divine feminine with the fates here and the union and the dark night of the soul, please, spirit? What is this for divine feminine? An awakening. Someone has awakened. Okay, divine feminine following their fate. There has been an awakening and there is an light. I like you. This romance is blooming here. All right. Whatever you've done, divine feminine. <laughs> Regenerating yourself, healing yourself, knowing this isn't for you. Whatever you have done, divine feminine, you are waking up the masculine. Uh, dead inside here. What is this? Look at this. Masculine already got this one. Relationship evolving into the next phase. Healing inner child and growth. The butterfly and the chaser because this person is dead inside feminine you are evolving you are meeting you're changing in your community you may be connecting with new people you may be uh decided to move into a new path you're calling in your tribe and now this masculine is dead inside is feeling this shift and wanting to chase you 
they've become the chaser and now they're running away from a promise. Well, <laughs> the feminine energy is here, a change in the wind here. And look, they're running from a manipulative karmic with a girl with the snake. And this emperor, listen, I'm trying to read Divine Feminine, but this masculine is all over this reading. I can't even, look at this. This masculine is getting in a damn boat, healing heart, and watching and looking and stalking Divine Feminine. I can't even, I can't even clarify a reading for Divine Feminine. This masculine is all up. Listen, if you guys have been dreaming, thinking of your twin, this twin masculine is very close by, okay? But I'm saying, take it with a grain of salt. They're not out of the woods, right? This person is not out of the woods. Um, whatever they're dealing with, it's really dark. Spirit is bringing that up with the dark night of the soul. This dead inside, there's some dark energies, you know? Feminines have been working hard at keeping their stuff clean. You just know. You know your boundaries, all right, Divine Feminine? Let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Feminine energies right now? So Divine Feminine, you're probably feeling this, right? You're intuitive. You're psychic. You're probably feeling all of this stuff right now, right? Let's take a look here. What is going on with Divine Feminine energies? We're going to take the bottom here. We're going to take a look. Look at this. Tower. Awakening. You felt this, okay? God is recovering. There's a tower. The Knight of Cups, Divine Feminine, taking your cup, you're awakening, you're letting things, you're letting God take take the reins of your life, you're moving into a new vibration, you're calling in your tribe, you're taking your cup elsewhere that already came up. There's a change in the wind, you're coming out of a healing mode. You're not healing this with the masculine anymore, you're moving on to something new, you're ending cycles. Look at this, you're coming to the edge, you're ending cycles. Yeah, your feelings may have been blocked in the past. You're completely letting it go. You're opening up the heart again. You're you're coming out of hermit mode, which we saw, right? We saw that earlier. You're taking your cup elsewhere. You're nostalgic about the past, but you're you're done. You're changing. You're walking away from the past. Okay. <coughs> you're done healing from the past. You you're taking a chance in in a new cycle, and you're ending a cycle so you can give something that's more with reciprocity. I'm feeling here, let's just do this. I'm going to clarify the down here for the masculine because I feel this is just the masculine. What is going on here with the masculine energy here? This is a read for just divine feminine, but there's masculine energy all over this reading. Let's take a look. Halted. Okay. Injustice. Ending a commitment. Look at this. I can't make that up with the girl with the snake coming out of pain okay halted getting off this being blocked okay um they've awakened to something here of blocking um injustice where things aren't moving so they want to chase now they're dead inside they're feeling feminine move away ending a commitment because again instability right it's unstable ending pain getting honest with themselves so this feminine moving on let's see about this feminine taking her cup elsewhere oh yeah look at this this feminine may be looking for love elsewhere uh really done with the situation really moving on somebody may have entered or you may have just started getting back out in the scene you may be also just really on your mission really on your path having a lot of fun in your life forgetting about all of this you've completely moved on divine feminine and this is affecting divine masculine yeah they can't walk away why can't they? They're returning to the past. They want to return to the past. They're hung. <laughs> no, they're hung. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you love that karma? Oh, dear God. Oh, my dear God. All right. I, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what is going on between these two, you guys. What is going on? I can't even. This is too funny. This is a funny read. Because I really feel this Divine Feminine is like, okay, like, what do you want now? Like, hi. Like, I'm doing my thing. I'm working. I'm, like, planning a trip with my girls. I'm, like, you know, ooh, I met a cute boy last week. Ooh, I'm, like, yeah, this person is amazing. Whatever it is. Feminine has done some healing. Masculine not liking it. Well, That's just about it. What else are you going to do? Let's take a look. Let's see what's going on between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Let's ask. Uh, 
what should we do? What should we do? Should we do another deck? Let's do another deck. Um, sorry guys, I just wanna, let's do this one. I don't know if I want this one. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay. <coughs> let's see, what's going on with the energies between Divine Feminine and... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm coughing all of a sudden. It's like somebody wants to talk. <coughs> like I'm getting heartburn. <clears throat> and all I had was a cucumber and avocado <clears throat> hand roll. Like, I had two of them. Why would that cause me heartburn? <clears throat> and choking. Like, seriously. Somebody wants to talk, okay? What is the energy that is um, linking Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine together, Spirit? What's going on in the energies between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? Can I get a card, please? What is going on? Let's take a look at the bottom first. The Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, and Withholding. Well... Is about giving and withholding at the same time so let's see what is the energy that's that's between divine masculine and divine feminine can i have a card what is the link we've got two the web weaver synchronicity divine intelligence cause and effect so spirit is in the middle of this connection divine guidance and a higher knowing the spirit whisper so two divine this this connection has been completely surrendered Okay, so spirit is working right now between the dark and the light, between the higher knowing and between the cause and effect, okay? Let's take a look. What is going on between divine masculine and divine feminine? What's going on in their energy right now, spirit? What is going on between divine masculine and divine feminine? <clears throat> what is going on in the energy between divine masculine and divine feminine? What is going on in the energies between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? Thank you. Okay. We have been uh, making a decision. Okay. And we have the Hermit. <clears throat> oh, this is all very fascinating. It's like being very clear that God has this and also knowing that uh, they've both, they're both held back from each other. And they're both finding a light within themselves. So masculine towards the feminine, seven of cups. Feminine towards the masculine, the star. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> yeah, let's do it this way so you guys can see it better. Okay, so, yeah. Masculine energies right now, <clears throat> is sitting at the seven of cups where divine feminine is healing and moving towards her destiny masculine is looking for options what options dreaming fantasizing dropping the ball on anything that's confusion okay so anything that feels like it's confusing or not part of their dreams their future dreams they're dropping the ball they're not even negotiating that anymore <clears throat> so as it pertains <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, my throat. <clears throat> what is that? Yep, they're getting over their fears. This divine masculine is getting over their fears, moon in reverse, okay? While divine feminine is sitting here healing, moving towards her destiny, moving into her true truest self of her vibration. She's blocking anything that doesn't match this destiny, right? And her wishes. You don't match a vibration, see you later. Like that's where divine feminine is. She's working really hard in her heart space right now for her destiny that's really what i was getting she's got her guard up right she's got the nine of wands she's like mm, i'm persevering i'm working hard i'm working on this one pentacle she's only focused on self right now i don't think she's really thinking about her masculine all that much she's like mm, i'm doing my own thing here masculine is feeling a massive rejection in his heart with divine feminine. see this is the thing this masculine knows feminine has moved on yeah feeling a rejection in a relationship wow Feeling the feminine has closed off the past to this relationship. Yeah. 
That's what. That's why this masculine's going a little crazy right now. This masculine is towards the feminine. Um, is in separation. He wants to action this. The separation. What does he want to action? Revealing the truth. Look at this guy. That's a good whip. Listen, divine feminines. I want to know your secret. You got some power over this masculine because whatever you're doing over here. This masculine is having a bit of a freak attack, a lot of anxiety, revealing the truth of um, wanting to end the separation. Very imbalanced here, okay? Picking a lot of anxiety. Divine Feminine has abandoned a situation. <clears throat> Look at this. Divine Feminine's happy. The sun, okay, illuminated of anything that's not renewing in her life. She's leaving abandonment behind. She's illuminating her life. She's... um. If it's not renewable energy, this is what I was feeling here, Divine Feminine. If it's not matching her vibration, she's working hard. She's persevering. She's going. She's listening to her intuition. I made this card with the hawk sitting on her shoulder. Like, I got my intuition, thanks. I'm following that. And you're not good for me. <laughs> like, I'm, you may be my twin, but your vibration sucks. So I'm, like, moving on. And this masculine is very imbalanced. Why is he imbalanced? Why is he imbalanced, boo? Feeling obsessive. This masculine has not healed his toxicity, okay? <clears throat> so, again, be aware, Divine Feminine, if you hear from the masculine, you need to per persevere with your with your boundaries, right? Your self-love boundaries. <clears throat> we have Ten of Wands here. Masculine's a massive conflict. Breaking down, wow, with karmic energies, blocking the karmic energies, five of swords with the queen of swords in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. Cleaning up any frustrations, cleaning up the home, maybe selling a home, that may be why it's taking so long, that might be why the legal stuff is happening. We have here Ace of Cups, Divine Feminine, wants love, moving towards love, willing to win. Look at this. She's going to win over anything that has kept her in a place of stagnancy. She's no, looking, no longer looking at the three cups that have fallen when I made this card. A little light here that she hasn't quite noticed. See? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My throat all of a sudden just feels so weird. Um, <clears throat> she's noticing. She hasn't noticed this light yet, but she will. And she's moving towards that for victory and success. This masculine is having a little bit of a shit show, should I say? Sorry. I mean, I don't, I'm not mean to the masculines. I, I have a high honor for Divine Masculine. Honestly, I really do. I really do. I, I talk to some Divine Masculines who are right up there. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Their energy is off the hook, okay? Um, this masculine is just realizing, <clears throat> damn, <laughs> I better uh, figure stuff out. Let's see. What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine here and vice versa? Let's take a look. And that will be the reading for this week, you guys. What is going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine towards each other? What is going on with Divine Masculine right now towards the Divine Feminine? Whatever wants to come out. Just one? I think one may have flipped up too. <clears throat> Whoa. Wow. This masculine has gotten sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This masculine has left something karmic behind, but they're not finished. <clears throat> they're still trying to rebuild. That's what we got in the energy from the reading earlier. Trying to work really hard on their stuff. They're not giving second chances to anything from that they've already walked away from. This masculine is <clears throat> really trying to make himself known to this, these divine feminines in this reading. This masculine is really trying to rebuild and work on himself. Not quite ready to come forward. Let's see what's going on with divine feminine towards divine masculine. What is going on with divine feminine towards divine masculine? Whatever wants to come out too as well <laughs> wow look at this endings and new beginnings growth change liberation transition have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation so this divine feminine has opened up to a brand new path either a new person or <clears throat> just a new mission or a new way of living whatever it is she has been struck 
and she's putting an ending and starting a brand new beginning. This has instigated something in this masculine, okay? That's really what I'm getting. <clears throat> wow. Let's pull. What else? What else? What else can I pull here? What else can I pull? Yeah, let's pull these ones. These ones look good. These ones look nice. Let's do these ones. Let's take a look. Final healing messages here for divine masculine towards the feminine any other insight that we are allowed to see spirit for divine masculine towards the feminine are there any final messages my mirrored messages deck is coming i'm super excited to introduce those to you guys i should be getting them in the next couple of weeks but they're mirrored messages i channel so the front and the back are to be read in conjunction with each other <clears throat> What is going on here with Divine Masculine, please? Divine Masculine, any final healing messages? Wow. Okay. This Masculine, look at the green man. That came up for the Masculine too with that King of Pentacles in reverse. Synergy. He's gained a new uh, vulnerability. Look at this. A lot of heart chakra energy. Look at this. Activation. And dance. So this masculine is moving the energy through his body, has been activated in this shock sacral. It's moving up into the heart of being vulnerable and open and synergized and feeling something. <clears throat> so this masculine is transitioning into something for sure. Okay. They're being activated. They're dancing. They're grounding the energy. They're in their sacral. They're feeling the movement of the energy. They're feeling alive. Something has happened when they ended the karmic situation but they're not done they're not done they're being tested is what i'm getting okay in the karmic situation what's going on with divine feminine what energies are coming for divine feminine here what end final messages thank you spirit we've got five for divine feminine okay look at this grounding energies divine feminine full moon you've completed the cycle you're like done you're saying this is what you're saying divine feminine you're like yeah i'm done i'm grounding my life I'm completing, I'm releasing, I have strength, and I'm breathing. This Divine Feminine is really in a brand new vibration. It's opened up this masculine in a really big, powerful way. All right, guys, that's your reading for the week. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and I love you guys. And don't forget to take a look at all my other content that's out there. And would love to hear what you thought of this reading. And I will see you guys soon. So much love. All my services are down below. Bye.